for joining Good us. Good evening. Um, thank you. Well, you'll see perhaps as we go through this whether you want to thank me at the end of it. Um, uh, should we just clear up one thing? You would, is it correct to say you were jailed in America for being a Russian spy? Absolutely not. I was um, convicted as being um, actually committing conspiracy with myself, uh, being an unregistered foreign agent, which means actually I didn't file the document and there was no money and no harm to the United States and neither government or people. It has been proven. That's why I was jailed for 15 months. Four months I spent on solitary confinement. I wasn't given sleep, and uh, they did terrible things with me. So it's kind of a story. I've never been a spy. You can check out the news. You can check out the conviction, the, uh, what the judge said. And actually, eventually, the U.S. government apologized for calling me the Kremlin, or whatever they call honeypot or whatever, because okay. I've never okay. did such things. Yeah. Thank you for letting me say in my position. This is important. Well, I appreciate okay, the okay. dialogue. Let, let's, let, that's not why you're here. We, we, we're here to talk about what Russia is doing in Ukraine. Um, w w this is an invasion by Russian forces. They have shelled Ukrainian civilians who have been uh, trying to get out of war zones. Uh, and yet we have a situation where Vladimir Putin says that the, the demagogue here, the Nazi, is Vladimir Zelensky. Uh, what's the question? Well, the question is, uh, you said in an interview yesterday at the BBC that the Ukrainians okay. are bombing their own people. What a preposterous idea. Well, uh, in the very beginning, um, uh, you said that I hope and they, these were my words, that nobody will bomb ever anybody's citizens. But it looks like it. And I hope that nobody would be able to give such an order, but it looks like this. Look, I don't speculate. I only give facts. Talking about the Nazis and talking about their all this fascist and Nazi propaganda in Ukraine, well, yes, I do have questions because I do believe that it's not about just discriminating by uh, in by people by being Jewish, but it also means discriminated anybody based upon nationality, whether or not it's an Englishman, Englishwoman, whether it's Russian, American, it doesn't matter. So you just so, can't so use, discriminate So use another people. word. So, so, so use another word. I mean, we're having this conversation in English. Just don't, don't use the word Nazi uh, to describe a man whose great-grandfather died fighting the Nazis and who is Jewish himself. Well, how can I call a person that gives an order to celebrate, I can give you two names, to celebrate people who are actually killing Jews, thousands of Jews? You know, a Jewish woman saved my life in prison. So I have a deep appreciation to the Jews. So, you know, and it's unacceptable, as well as it's unacceptable for Polish and Israeli government that expressed their concerns, talking about the National Heroes Days that Ukraine passed in 2020. Just check it out. These people, the national heroes of Ukrainians, were actually killing thousands of Jews. They worked and served for SS. So I think it's unacceptable. And the embassies of Poland and Israel okay. agree with me. Ma Ma Maria, I, I hate it's to interrupt you because we haven't got very much longer left, but I, I'm, keen to, I'm keen to press one, one point on you, I suppose. And uh, if people can read that in the transcript of the interview you did with Nick Robinson yesterday with the BBC, I think it was quite illuminating. But we're trying to talk about the prospects today, given the meeting in Antalya uh, in Turkey of your foreign minister and his uh, Ukrainian counterpart, the prospects of securing, securing some kind of, of peace deal is your leader, Vladimir Putin, the kind of man who, who ultimately is interested in peace? Uh, absolutely, yes. And Russia keeps its word. If we give the word, we keep the word. And I think everybody in Russia, including our president, wants peace. Russians are the nation that is at least we, we don't want war. Everybody in my family, there are people who actually... Uh, died during the Second World War. Yeah. And uh, it's I have a to, tragedy. I, we're out of time. We I have to say.